Yo, what's going on you guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how you can rebirth extremely fast in Military Tycoon. This is probably one of the fastest ways in my opinion at least. So if this helps you out, make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe and let's get on with the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do after you get done rebirthing is get all of your workers first. So you're going to want to go down the line from here all the way down here. In total, you should have eight workers here. This is a super soldier over here, so don't have to worry about that unless you purchased him. So in total, you should only have eight soldiers inside of your base. Now coming outside your base over here to the front, you can see that there's more workers over here. You want to make sure that you purchase these ones. There's two in this one, two in this one, and then there's three in this one. I'm not really sure why they only put one extra soldier in this one instead of all three of them, but I mean, Military Tycoon does random things, so who knows. Next, you're going to want to come down to your bunker. There will be a bunch of workers in here to your right. Now over here, there's going to be a total of five workers. You want to purchase all of them, and then you want to head back upstairs. Now that you have a passive income coming in from your workers in the base, now we can move on to step two. For step two, you're going to want to grab any one of your jets. I'd suggest a Hydra because it'll make it easier to stop. You're going to want to go to all of the islands and then you can just go ahead and grab all the flags. Now you're going to want to come over to this next island. They're all going to be spread out, so you're going to just want to check the oceans if you're unsure of where the locations are. But well, there's one over there by one of the tallest mountains in the game, and then there's one over here across from that, and then I believe there's one over on that side that we're going to go to after this. There we go, now all the flags are done. So we have the first island we went to, the second island we went to, and then we have the third island over here. And then this island doesn't have a flag for whatever reason, so don't worry about that. There's only three islands that you need to capture, and each of them will give you 9k about every 1 to 5 minutes. Yo, sus speed from the future here. One thing I wanted to add real quick. I would put in raids, but there's no point in raiding because there's a high chance or a high probability that you're not going to make it back to your base, especially if you're a low rebirth trying to go and raid someone that's like a high rebirth. They're most likely going to hunt you down and kill you. So you're better off just staying in base and shooting the manual target. That's what I'd rather do, or I'd rather just sit around and watch anime and let the auto clicker do it. My personal opinion, but it's totally up to you. I just wanted to let you guys know why I didn't add in raids to this video. Because there's a good chance that you're not going to make it back. Oh, hell no. All right, back to the video. Now, for step three, you're going to want to come back to your base, grab all your soldiers, the strongest armor that you have, grab a riot shield if you can, and grab one of your strong weapons. You're going to want to head to one of these battlefields. There's someone here already, so I'm going to head to this one. It's probably best to do this in an empty server. That way, you don't have to fight other players. In my case, I will have to, but that's perfectly fine. I am well prepared. You're going to want to collect this flag once you get here. There we go. It's best to collect all three of them. So there's one here, there's one over here behind the mountains as well, and then there's one over here next to the bridge. I'm gonna head to this one first because it's the closest to me. Let's get it. There we go, we got that flag. Move on to the next one. It appears someone may be here. They left their A10 in there, but that's not gonna stop Susbreed. All right, now that you've taken control of all three islands and all three of the battle zones, you can go back to your base. Now, once you're inside, there's gonna be a link in the description so you guys can go and grab an auto clicker. Now, you don't have to do this step. You could just sit here and make passive income if you like, but this is also another way that I like to get my money personally. So right here is the auto clicker that I use for PC. You can easily download this with the link in the description. There's also an Android one, and I grabbed an iPhone one as well. If this one doesn't work for you, just search up auto clicker in your store and there will be plenty of them to use. All the links in the description are safe. I will never give you guys false links, guys. I'll never give you guys links with ads or any of that stuff. Just remember that. This is a safe place. You don't have to worry about getting viruses, I, I promise you. Now, if you're on PC, all you're gonna wanna do is go down here and put in auto clicker and then it'll come up like so. Now you can easily come upstairs and use the machine gun or you can use the bison that's over here. I personally just like to use the bison because it has a fast reload. And you're just gonna wanna come back downstairs. Once you're down here, you wanna come up to this manual target and you wanna click start on your auto clicker. Now press three or four or whichever number your gun is on. I'm gonna pick the one with the bison because that's my favorite weapon to use. You're just gonna zoom in here right on that target and you can leave your game sitting for however long you like. 
as you can see it's a fast reload so the multiplier will just continue to go up and up up to i believe four or five or more once you're done you can click the same button that you use to take out your weapon and then you can come over to it and press stop close out of it and then you can enjoy all the money that you have now this is a good way to get a lot of money or rebirths honestly at that point you'll definitely have enough to rebirth you just have to let it sit there for enough time for whatever reason my obs wasn't recording but i was basically saying that right after that you can just go ahead and rebirth and as you can see even after i rebirth i'm still getting the passive income from all of the different islands that i took over and the battlefields again you guys don't have to do the auto clicker if you don't want to it's simple to just get the passive income islands and the battlefields if you just want to do that and all of your workers but the manual target and the auto clicker work really well together and it's definitely the fastest way to make cash so you can rebirth faster and you can just get money faster in general. By the way, for the subscribers that are actually close to me and do care, I'm at a rebirth of 48 at the moment. I know that last night I posted a video saying that I was going to rebirth so I could get the cannon. But at the moment, I'm at 48 out of 50. I think I'm going to go for 100, honestly, and just say F it to getting a billion dollars. I'll just get a billion cash after I hit 100 rebirths. Because at this point, if they're willing to put out rebirth content for a rebirth of 50, they're definitely going to do it for 100 at some point. So I might as well just keep pushing. Again, I still think that they should up the multiplier. It only makes sense and it's only fair, in my honest opinion. But if this video was helpful for you or if you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications. Guys, we're having a giveaway at 10,000 subscribers. Three lucky people are going to get 5,000 Robux, baby. So if you would like to be a part of that giveaway, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.